Hi here, Finns here. I am back for another one of my Strictly reviews of 2024. Now, apologies if the quality of this video is not that great this week. Um, I'm rushing it a little bit uh, this week. Uh, I'm filming on my laptop. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about Strictly Week 2 dances. Of course, we've got to talk about the elephant in the room. The kind of surprising elimination and spoiler alert coming Tom Dean and Nadia were the first to be voted off in kind of a surprising first elimination, I've got to say. So, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of headlines this week about Strictly um, this series, <laughs> let's say, um, about Tom and Nadia's elimination. And then there's been these fixed claims about it. Um, but, yeah, I am surprised... Tom and Nadia went out first, I've got to say. I was one of the people that was surprised about their eliminations. If that they got eliminated first, I was kind of surprised about. But looking back at that cha cha cha, um, I knew on the Saturday night there were a few mistakes. I think he had to go on first. I think he had a bit of a few nerves. I think that he had kind of maybe went a bit blank sometimes. I think he made a few mistakes. I think, yeah, I think it just, the timing was a bit off um, as well in the dance off. So, yeah, I mean, I can understand why they voted him off when you digest it a little bit. Uh, the timing was off and it was not the best cha 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 in the world. And that being said, I don't think he was the worst on Saturday nights. Um, you know, I wouldn't even say Toya and Neil were the worst on Saturday night. I would say Paul and Karen really should be the first to be voted off, in my opinion. If you're judging it on dance-wise, I think their salsa was... It was less strictly come dancing, more strictly come walking. I mean, just walking around for the next route move it he had no rhythm i'm sorry and then he got offended by a comment craig said about taking so many drink you were dancing like you drank a lot and then he was offended by him not drinking for so many years and yeah i, I just like okay 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 um but I, I guess people love that i guess people vote for something like that the the the, the novelty acts you know i guess you know that's what people do want to i guess uh, a bit of comedy on Strictly. Um, I was happy Toy and Neil were saved in a way, and I, I don't like seeing the hate Toy has got uh, this week because actually it wasn't her decision to come, to stay or go, and actually she was much better this week than the first week. It wasn't a perfect jive by any means, but it was a lot better. Maybe I wouldn't have given her boots to dance in per se. I would have probably given her high heels. Um, especially when you're jiving, um, I wouldn't have done that. Um, she looked a bit more like Dolly Parton than Tina Turner, I would say. Um, but it was a lot better, a, a lot more confident. Um, I thought it, it would have been a lot better considering she's jived before, but it was better. It was a lot, lot better. And I'm glad, um, we get her for one more week. A bit worried about next week's dance though. A slow samba. Mm, um, that will be interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, overall, yeah, I mean, we also had other, I won't go through every single couple now because it's long. I'm, I'm not, um, I'm going to go through all of them and I'm not, I'm going to try and get through most of them. Nick and Lobo, I was a bit worried about considering Nick's injury early on in the week, but I think they really did actually well in what they could do and I think Luba did choreographic I can't speak uh, and changed the routine a little bit much better um which was good um I thought actually winning Katia actually that was a nice Phoenix Waltz nice classical music use a bit of the stairs it was nice. It it kind of proves Win doesn't always have to play the comedy card every time or the joke card or whatever you call it uh, every week. Even though there was this silly thing with him being in the orchestra, pretending to be part of the orchestra, 
yeah, that, that's just win, 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 trying to be funny. We didn't need that. But for the, for the dance itself, he's actually a really good dancer. I'm actually quite a surprise. Um, we had the first rumba um, in on week two, the first time since 2009. <laughs> Jamie and Michelle did a rumba, which I was really surprised they did a rumba so early. But I think Michelle wanted to get out of the way. That's the thing. I think that's what happened. She wants to get the rumba out of the way um, as early as she could. And that could be actually good, you know, because you don't really want to do a rumbo semis, do you, really, or quarterfinal? So that might be a good move from Michelle. Um, yeah, doing a rumba in jeans. That's interesting. But it was not bad. For a male celebrity, it wasn't too bad. Rumba, I guess, from Jamie. I see potential in him. Um, yeah, and Sarah and Vito's Paso was really good. And yeah, I like that close the show as well. Just so dramatic and that. And who else? Tasha and Alias topped the judges' leaderboard. Lovely Theonite Swartz. Beautiful. I think I'm really warming to those two, Tasha and Alias. And yeah, and then you had like Shane and Nancy do a tango straight afterwards. So the running order hurt them a little bit last week, coming on after t the moment that was Tash and Aliash. <laughs> um, and then this the whole VT about, oh, Shane was getting a lot of backlash and a lot of bad comments online about him looking arrogant or having a big ego or whatever he said. Um, yeah, and then he kind of kind of made out um some of his comments um calling those people out as trolls um or haters um which i don't know if that's a good move or not you know um because i don't there's a difference by critiquing someone and then just and there's another way of giving someone hate you know, it's not like drink bleach, you know, you'll, I hope you die, I hope you set on fire. Those are horrible things to say, and I wish that on no one, like, but I feel like, you know, you know, do you really need to call people out as being trolls and haters, just saying you just look a bit overconfident on your first week? I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit 50-50 about that. It's not quite Israel at Eurovision standards, is it? <laughs> Um, shout out to my girl Eden Gollin, but um, love will always win. Uh, but no, I mean, yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting how his public vote gets along. Um, yeah, JB and Amy were good, Chris and Diane was lovely as well. I'm really happy to see them do better. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I, apologies if I've mixed. Oh, and Dr. Puma, Dr. Puma and Gorka. Um, I like that Shania Twain song, and I thought she played the character really well, and her kicks. She's getting better. I was worried she would be the first one out. But no, she she's growing on me as well. Montel and Johannes, I've got to mention it, the Eurovision song, Finally I Use Fuego by Eleni Fuera. Yes, I love a bit of Eurovision music. Good old Johannes for picking that out. Um, it took us six years, but they finally put it in. Uh, great. Um... Great, great, um, yeah, great, <laughs> great song choice, really great song choice, and good samba from Montel as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everyone. I've probably missed someone out, um, I think, I think I've got through from 15 of them. Um, if I've missed someone out, oh, Pete and Yavita, that was the other one, um, yeah, I think he's getting better. I like that big leap from Yuvita, that kind of, that leap of faith kind of moment. Um, that was good. I just want him to smile a bit more, Pete. Like, he's like, it's just so miserable. <laughs> just smile. I can't wait for that happy, clappy Charleston one week. Um, but yeah, and Sam and Nikita, that was another couple. Uh, nice Charleston. You know, with Sam, she's not like the strongest not the worst she's somewhere in the middle i uh, hopefully she won't stay in the middle and be right in the middle it's got all eurovision um but no i hope she she is in a will improve gradually so yeah 
Yeah, so yeah, roll on movie week. Uh, can't wait to see Pete and Yavita do George of the Jungle. George, George, George of the Jungle. Um, no, it'd be interesting. And of course, Tasha had to have the Barbie movie. I wish they gave her the Dua Lipa song and the Billie Eilish song, I, I gotta say. Yeah, uh, but anyway. What it is it is? Um, who will be out next? I, I hearing these this news about a slow samba, which should have been just a rumba in my opinion, um, from Toy and Neil. I, I I'm a bit scared that we're gonna lose them on movie week, but I want to just wish they give this. Uh, you know, they were saved by the judges in week two. They need to make the most of this opportunity, in my opinion, because, you know, they got lucky. Like, they really, really got lucky. Like, I don't know who does that, get so lucky from the judges. Like, they should make the most of this opportunity. I'm mean, like, I really hope she's good at the samba. I mean, she could. I mean, Toya has got some dance experience, so maybe she, if, if they slow it down, don't make it too difficult for her. Hopefully, it can work, maybe. I really hope so, and Neil has got enough hate as it is, so I, I don't, I just want to, people stop hating on Neil this year, but I can understand maybe his choreography is not the strongest as it used to be. Um, I mean, personally, I think Paul and Karen, but I feel like, I feel Paul can easily do a cha 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 next week. Um, at least they haven't given him a sandbook just yet, so it's a bit of a relief on that. Um... Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I worry for Toya. I hope Toya and Neil don't go out next, but I do, I, I, I've got a funny feeling it could be them out next, sadly, sadly. Um, but I will be happy to be wrong, and anything could happen, anything could change, so watch this space. But anyway, that is my review of week two of Strictly 2024. Comment down below if you thought Tom and Ardia deserved to go. Um, and by the way, I don't think Strictly is fixed. I, I don't think why it would be fixed. I think the judges have to vote on that dance-off and that dance-off alone. You know, it can be annoying sometimes when, you know, celebrities have got potential. But in that dance-off, I think Tom was a bit off, um, off time a little bit. And I think with Toya, she, she, she had a bit more confidence. I mean, she... Uh, in her dance and had a bit more energy than Tom had. So I would personally kept Toy and Neil, um, but it, they were both kind of close, I guess. So anyway, it is what it is. And we move on. We feel sorry for Tom Dean. Uh, you know, I hope they do an all star series of Strictly one series and he will be invited back. Um, and I hope for the best in his swimming career. But anyway, Comment down below in the comment section below, like and subscribe this video and I'll be back for more content very soon. So then goodbye people, goodbye.